Hi guys, welcome back to Best SAT Tips by Sebastian Enriquez. And today I will be talking about something related with the SAT, which is extracurricular activities, okay? So, let's get started. Well guys, as you can see here, it says extracurricular activities and my subjects here inside the parenthesis GPA. Okay, today I will be talking about something related to the famous SAT that are extracurricular activities which play an essential role in college application as well as the subjects that you take in a school. So, if you are an AP student, believe me that it helps a lot in college admissions. Well, not a lot, but yes, it helps. So I'm gonna give you my list of extracurricular activities and the subjects that I take in my school. Guys, remember that I am not from the United States, I don't live in the United States, but I am here to help international and national students of the United States, okay? So I will show you my list right now. Guys, here are my extracurricular activities. Um, social media manager of my neighborhood council. I know that it sounds weird, but yes, it's true. Um, it was because of a conflict in the park in front of my house, and I am the manager of the Instagram of my neighborhood council, and it had a great effect in the whole city because the activities that were done in that amphitheater that they illegally constructed in the park were stopped by the neighborhood council, okay? And a new mayor won the election because of us, because of the impact that it had in the social media, the impact that it had in the TV, everyone knew about the conflict between the community and the town hall, okay? And I am the manager of it. Well, we only have 90 followers on Instagram, but a lot of people, everyone knows Junta de Vecinos, okay? Uh, the neighborhood council in, in English. Um, okay, so here, gym, run on a machine. Yeah, I always exercise myself here in my house, but now I plan to go to a gym, a smart fit, that they are finishing and is near my house so I can go to a real gym. I am a 15 year old boy, so I didn't go to the gym because of that too. But I did exercise in my house since ninth grade, okay? And this activity is since ninth grade too. Well, this one I think since eighth grade. This one, like since eighth grade. This one gives shape to my business ideas. Well, I know that I don't know if this is really a extracurricular. I know this is very a little bit abstract, right? But yes, I give shape to my business ideas. I will always dedicate time to it. I open Microsoft Word and I start texting there. I mean, writing, writing everything that comes to my mind in that moment. Any business, how I'm going to develop it. For example, I have an idea of a supermarket and I describe everything, how we are going to work, um, the employees, the owner employee relationship, everything. I think that's important, but I don't know if it will be good for a college application. I need to look for someone expert on that, okay? Because I am actually a student, okay? I am a junior. Um, you and model. I will join the club on this year, in my junior year, because I want to have an experience, like something with the school that is extracurricular, because all the rest, the rest of my extracurriculars are done by me. Okay, so I need one associated with the school and I shows you and mobile and yes, I want to, to travel and I love you and mobiles. I mean, that was my dream. EDX courses. I started to take EDX courses in the summer of my junior year. I mean now because this helps a lot to give shape to my business ideas. This is an activity that I have been doing since 10th grade, but now I am giving more shape to those ideas with these courses and I have my reasons so take the courses with your own reasons okay I am learning Portuguese by myself and I just use Google Translator to translate all those words okay 
That's very simple and I am learning a lot Portuguese. Okay? Hola. <laughs> well, that's in Spanish too. You can say hola. You can say hoy. Um, ¿Cuál es su sobrenom? That is in Brazilian Portuguese. Um, and yeah, I know so many things in Portuguese. I mean, uh, let me see another one. Um, ¿Cómo va? ¿Todo bien? Um, con licenca, con permiso. I know so many things and in Portuguese and I am practicing every day. In Portuguese, like 30 minutes per day or more, like one hour. Well, let me show you the ones that are here that I have in my phone. Um, wait. Um, Look. ¿Cuál es su nombre? Me llamo Sebastián. Muito obrigado. Muito obrigada. Muito prazer. Que hora é? O que você deseja? Por favor, desculpe. Siéntese, por favor. ¿Cuál es a su profesor? Um, até breve. Agora. Até logo. And etc. Ok, so I'm learning Portuguese. Um, this YouTube channel, I think it is an extracurricular activity, but I didn't start a YouTube channel just because of college. I haven't started activities because of college, okay? No. I have started activities because I want to start activities. I want to be doing a lot of things that are extracurricular because I think it's funny. And I have a YouTube channel to help you guys through the SAT because I know it's kind of hard. Well, hard for some students. And this year, like the human model, I will join the green club, okay? Because it is very fun. We are just going. We are going to do a project with water that is sponsored by a bank, a famous bank in my country, and we are going to develop an amazing project. And we won first place past year. But I wasn't involved in this activity. But this year, yes, I will be involved in this activity. Now let's work. Okay, here school. Here are the subjects that I take in my school. I take approximately 16, I think. Yeah, 16. The first one, literature, of course. In my country, there are not AP students, okay? That's in the United States. You should take AP courses if you are going to college to, to amaze college admissions officers, okay? College admission officers. But for international students, it is kind of different. But in my school, we have so many subjects that you need to take. Um, literature, grammar, pre-calculus, anatomy and psych physiology, American government, computer science, Chinese, which is Sean Wen in Mandarin, um, lengua y literatura, which means language and literature, which is like a combination of literature and grammar. Um, I take Matemática Avanzada, which is advanced math, and this is a very close, very close subject, because almost no one can take the subject in the school, just very intelligent students. Well, like me. I also take Historia y Geografía, which is history and geography, um, I also take biology and chemistry. This is in the first semester we take history, in the second one we take geography, and the first one I take biology, and in the second semester of my junior year I will take chemistry. Um, 12 physical education, 13 architectura, which is architecture, um, and it is it also includes architecture, marketing, and other activities. Um, debate, which is a optional one, but you need to choose between journalism and debate, and I chose debate. You also have 15, Formación Humana, which is like religion, and 16, Orientación, which means to, uh, like, orient, um, orientation for you, you know, so, guys, I will show you my GPA, I know it might be low for some of you, high for some of you, but I think it's like in the middle and I want to improve my GPA in this junior year. I have a 3.78, 
out of the out of four and the four scale and well yeah i need to increase it and i will increase it it is not low it is not a low gpa but yes i want to improve my gpa okay guys well guys thank you so much see you in the next video i will be talking about quadratic equations okay so watch it an essential tip is to do things because you want okay not because of college and believe me quality is better than quantity okay follow this tip